Now a lot of the lessons also have worksheets designed specifically to reinforce what they've just learnt from the tutorial. Let's just talk about the approach taken here. It's very deliberate. We encourage using the traditional pen and paper method to work out and answer the questions rather than just always typing answers into the computer. Now why do we do that? A critical skill that is often overlooked in most other online programs is that students still need to be able to set their work out in clear, logical steps. This skill needs to be constantly worked on as it makes up a large section of any of the important exams. We encourage students to set out their own solutions like the way they saw in the lesson. Once they get an answer, they write it down on the worksheet and then look for the answer in the answer box. This is where all the answers are jumbled up and they have to find theirs. In this particular case, the letter B. These letters are used for entering results later on to be marked. They continue on to complete the exercise. Now, it's fantastic when the students start producing this sort of work themselves. Once the worksheet is completed and corresponding answers have been found, time to enter them. Simply type in the letters that are marked on their worksheet, press Submit, and the answers are marked automatically. In this example, a score of 88%. A message here to try again, noting that any incorrect answers are highlighted to help identify what needs fixing. In this case, the answer to question 6 was wrong. Now, here's another important step in the whole learning process. The student looks back at their work and tries to figure out for themselves what went wrong. Let's have a look at this case. Now, the first part is fine, no problems there. The second part? Oh, well that plus should have been a minus. So let's fix that up. That changes, and then that changes, so the final answer is 12. They can then submit their corrected answer, and they would then get 100%.